So, uh, Daniel, uh, out. You, you were optimistic earlier. Yeah, in the yeah. I thought thought he could do it, and and uh, had a had a doctor's appointment. They checked him out and just said he, he wasn't ready to go. So he's not going. And so that's Kyrie will play. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. possibly yeah. Is so that we'll, sort of wait and see how it feels? Yeah. Yeah. Wait and see how it feels. He was better today. Um, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic. If he's we'll not play. able to play, are you a little thin at linebacker? Well, we're a little thin if, even if he does play, but right. we'll be all right. We'll figure it out. What is uh, not having Lasko do to your overall, uh, what you want to do in, in running? Uh, yeah, I mean, what we'll do is we'll use Bigelow some back there, you know, a little bit more, uh, which I think will be good. It'll be more opportunities for him to get his hands on the football and, and kind of play him at, uh, at some running back and, and also at some of that inside receiver spot. How's he dealing with moving back and forth? You know, good. He's been fine. He's, he's getting comfortable. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's like anything. I mean, at any time you have to move a guy around, I think it stunts their growth in some ways, and you don't like to do it. It's kind of what we've done all year on defense. I mean, linebackers gone from, you know, Will to Sam to Mike to, you know, it's just, and so I think as a result, it slows down, you know, your ability to improve in some ways. And, you know, that's been an issue we've dealt with defensively. And it's an issue that we've, you know, dealt with a little bit at running back from at times this year. So, is, you know. Is Brendan's confidence level rising at all? Yeah, or? yeah, no, I think it definitely is. I think he's feeling much more confident playing faster, had a good week of practice. I think, uh, you know, I think his, I think he's feeling better than he has. Is he a guy who's still, you still have hopes that he can be sort of what maybe yeah. you orig originally thought he might be? Uh, yeah, we think so. Yeah, we think so. I think, I think the, you know, the spring, not going through spring hurt, hurt him. I think just learning wise and, and, um, you know, I think it took a while for him to get confidence in his, in his knee, you know, and, in, in his health more than anything else. I don't, I don't think the position thing's been that big of a deal in some ways. I think just the, you know, getting getting healthy again. And I think that's what the spring would have made a big impact on was, hey, I realize I can play now, I'm feeling better. You know, now as I move into the fall, I'm more comfortable. And I think he's, he's spent a part of this year getting comfortable. Did he, did moving him out of running back for a little while maybe take some pressure off him too? I think so, I think so. I think he put a lot of pressure on himself and you know, he's got a lot of high expectations for himself. And I think internally and externally, there's high expectations for him as well. And so, you know, I think, I think you know, I think he's starting to get it all figured out and put together, and, and hopefully, you know, he'll break out on Saturday. In some respects, the worst thing he could have done was have those two long touchdown runs at Ohio State. Uh, it seemed like that just <laughs> raised the expectations. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think so. I think. I, I mean, I think it's, you know, it's like anything else. I mean, he's he's a he's a guy that hadn't played a lot, yeah. and so you know, I I think that's when you haven't played a lot and you're dealing with some injuries and trying to get back in the fold, it takes takes longer sometimes than than you want it to than everybody wants him to. So I think I think as we move forward, you know, finishing up this year and getting into the spring and and, you know, I think he'll be a different player next fall. How much uh, more crucial does it make it that he did rep a little more at running back this week uh, with La with La the fact last goes out? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we, you know, you always have to have contingency plans. So we started working that at the beginning of the week in case, you know, in case that was the case. Other than uh, Bigelow, who else will you go with? Uh... Uh, you at know, the running backs all those guys will play. I mean, I would think yeah. Irvin will play, uh, Coppridge will play, obviously Calfani will play. So, I mean, we've got four guys we feel good about going yeah. to the game with. Richard is up. But yeah, yeah. I thought Richard practiced well. I thought yeah. he caught the ball well, practiced well, so I, I feel good about him. He, he's able to use both hands? Yeah, yeah. I mean, caught the ball with with, with his off hand pretty consistently. Didn't do it very good on the first part of the week, and in the second half of the week caught the ball well. So Using both hands? Yeah, using both hands. Yeah, he's just got his thumb. He's got his thumb down on the other hand, and that's that's really all the cast is, is kind of immobilizing his thumb. Is this a game you guys ought to win? Oh, you know, it's a game we can win. You know, I'd I, you know, I, I'd like to think we could, you know, we ought to win them all. <laughs> you know, and, and, but, I mean, this is just another ball game. I mean, it's a game that against a team that, that hadn't played very well like us, and at least hasn't won a lot of games. Uh, and so, you know, it's two teams that, that are desperate to win, and, I'm sure they feel the same way, you know, and I think they're, I'm sure they're going to this ball game with a lot of confidence, feeling like that they got a great chance to beat us and, you know, and we need to just go out and play. What do you need to do or what are you trying to do to spark a better start? Because obviously that's been a chronic yeah. issue all year. Yeah, I think, I think we just got to, you know, we got to execute. I mean, that's been our issue is, is if you go back and you look at it, uh, you know, and you go back and you say, you know, what have we done wrong? You know, you, you can go back game to game to game, and it's come down to just a lack of execution, whether it's, you know, getting fooled early on a play-action pass against Northwestern in the first series, or it's Washington State driving down to the five-yard line and fumbling. You know, whatever whatever that's been the case, it's just been a, 
a lack of execution, and that's that's what's hardest. Do you think your young players are, are sort of ready to go when a game starts? Because it seems like in the second quarter you all of a sudden start to figure stuff out. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't know that that's the case. I mean, I, I you know, I think what, what happens sometimes is, is you know, we've, we've had issues where, you know, when you're young and you're learning, you know, there's always the execution part comes comes last. And so what, ha what has a tendency to happen to us is, you know, we'll mess something up, we'll blow something, miss a coverage, turn the ball over, not execute, have a penalty, whatever. And then, you know, they'll take advantage of it. And then it seems like at that point we get a little rattled. And it takes us a, a series or two to get settled in. And that's, that's confidence, that's experience. Um, you know, it's just, you know, playing with attitude. And so whether it's, I don't think it's a lack of preparation. I mean, our guys prepare well. Um, and you think they're in their minds they're ready to go? I think they are, yeah. Yeah, I really do. I just think it's, you know, I, I, I just, the young teams that I've been around in the past, you know, there's, there's always those issues. And this, you know, they've been magnified with this bunch. I, I talked to a guy who covers Colorado, and, and he gave me a statistic that will probably make you a little crazy. They've missed one start from one player all oh, year. No, no, that's what we talked about. Injuries. Yeah. Is that, can you even fathom that at this point? Yeah, I mean, we've we only had, 15, had two you're... last year, though, at least in the <coughs> had missed two man starts for injury. Well, maybe offensively. Uh, yeah, we had a bunch of defensive I think guys you're missing 50, you've got 59 and counting right there, right? Yes, missed starts. I, yeah, I would, yeah. See, I would have thought it'd be more than that. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I would have thought it'd be more than that. Still got a couple games that. to go. Yeah, yeah, I would have thought it would have been. I don't know. Thought it would have been like in the 70s or 80s, but well, it will be when it's done. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's and that's, you know, like we talked about earlier. That's why, I, you know, you put the film on. It's the same guys playing the same positions from game one to game, you know, to game 11 as we're going into it. And so, you know, there's been a there's been a, an improvement that's taken place. And so they're a better team as a result of that. And we talked about that particularly on special teams. You know, it's been the same guys covering kicks and. Same guys on punt return and same guys on kickoff return, and as a result, those units have really improved, and and that's been the, you know, that to me is what stands out. And as you're dealing with injuries and you're moving guys around, the special teams suffer the most because you're moving guys off of special teams into. Yeah, yeah, and and there's just and the thing about it is there's you know there's it's hard to get guys reps in special teams and everything's magnified on special teams. I mean you know, just like what happened to us the other day. I mean you know if if you get a one guy. That, that goes the wrong way in the punt team, you're going to get a punt block. And so there's just those things on special teams are, are magnified where sometimes offensively, if a you know, guy doesn't know what he's doing or a guy messes up, it, it doesn't have an impact on the play or defensively they run the ball away from him or whatever. And on special teams, typically it's, it's you know, because you've got to cover the entire field. And so the, the mistakes are magnified. Leininger's mindset good? Yeah, he's yeah, he's he had a great, great day today. He's ready to go. and. He wasn't uh, scarred by uh, last no, week. No, no, I don't think so. I mean, I think we all were, you know, to an extent. But, uh, but no, I don't think so. I thought he had a really good week of practice, and, and especially today. I think we're good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks See you guys. Safe travels. Okay.